Welcome or welcome back at uh, C Square. In this video clip, we're gonna talk about non parallel lines and transverse. And if you notice already on the screen, we have three lines line L and M, and we have a third one line T, which is the transversal. I use the letter T just because I want to be sure it matches the meaning of the word transversal. And if you notice, we have eight angles, and like you can see them here one, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, right? And the first thing I want you to see is the interior angles. The interior angles in this case are angle 3, 4, 5, and 6. And you notice why they are, why do we call them interior? Because they are between the lines L and M inside. Now we have another box here, uh, which is going to show us the exterior angles. But of course, uh, if in your mind you know already that exterior angles are 1, 2, 7 and 8, that will be correct. 1, 2, 7 and 8 are called exterior angle because they are not between L and M, they are outside. Let me uncheck these two. I'm going to click on the next. And now we're going to talk about alternate interior angles. So, if you remember in the previous slide, we have interior angles 3, 4, 5 and 6. Alternate interior angles are the angles that are interior angles and one is going to be on one side of the transversal and the other one is going to be on the other side of the transversal so if in your mind you said three and five four and six because they are alternate they're interior you are correct three and five right alternate interior angle four and six alternate interior angles let me uncheck the box and I'm going to click on next. And the next uh, slide is talking about alternate exterior angles. And these angles are exterior, right? 1, 2, 7, and 8. And they should be one on one side of the transversal T and one on the other side of the transversal T. So if in your mind you know you, you, you're going to say 1 and 7, alternate exterior. 2 and 8 alternate exterior that is correct and you can see it by just clicking the box let me uncheck and i'm going to move to the next one which we call them consecutive or same side interior angles okay uh, and i think either name will help us to kind of identify same side interior angle they should be interiors so three four 5 and 6 and on the same side. So if in your mind it's 4 and 5, 3 and 6, that's correct. And like I said, consecutive, kind of the same idea. They are one after the other one. 3, 6, 4, 5. So let's see. Yes, angle 3 and 6, consecutive, 4 and 5, consecutive. Let's uncheck the box and we're going to move to the last set of angles, which are called the corresponding angles. These are the ones that one is interior, one is exterior, and they are on the same side of the transversal T, this one, right? So if in your mind you're going to say one interior, one exterior, and you're going to say one and five, that's correct. Five is interior, one is in exterior, and they are on the same side of line T. Similarly, we can have two and six, three and seven. 4 and 8. So this is the only pair of angles where we have four different uh, corresponding angles. Now, like I said, 1 and 5, 2 and 6, 3 and 7, 4 and 8. Okay, um, now if you want to go on the first slide, you just click on this first and you already notice how this app works. And you, you want to go on the next, just click next last and so on the link for this um, app will be down on the bottom of the uh, video clip on the description if you enjoyed this video clip don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square for more help thank you